I want to go through some chronology if we could here, uh, because I, I think sure. I think backstory is really interesting. So take me back, if you would, to the recruiting process and ultimately what sold uh, Elias. You, you all call him Eli? I, well, at home we call him Elias, but everyone else calls him Eli. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yes. what, so what should what should I on how should I refer to him for for his years Eli. in battle? Eli. Okay. Eli. Got Eli it. is good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and that's great to know because I would rather be accurate. Because you know what's weird? A lot of times you don't even find out to like guys have left campus and then like they're going through the draft process and they tell everybody what like what they prefer to be called. It's like just tell me now. So that's good. All right. So Eli, go back to the recruiting process. Yep. What sold Eli and your family on LSU and on Baton Rouge? You know, Baton Rouge is it's truly a, a community that cares, and the people here are so authentic. They're real. They're genuine. When we met Coach O and when we were working with Coach Raymond this whole time, they were just authentic people, and I truly believe that they cared about my son and my family, and they were just consistent. The humility, the uh, – just just the willingness to, to work with him and just to kind of care about where he was and the potential that they saw in him. And it was just believable. They were consistent. Like the, the first time, you know, I, I'm sure recruits here, oh, you're, you're number one on our board or, or I'm going to blow up your phone on September 1st when we're allowed to call. Coach O truly did everything that he said he was going to do along with Coach Raymond. And, and they never wavered from who they really were. That's great to hear. Um, mm -hmm. Then the commitment comes in early, and yes. and Eli went to, to IMG. So yes. your family is here in Baton Rouge now, correct? Yes. So yes. whatever you don't mind disclosing as much, like how does that process all go where you all make the decision to move your family from California to end up in Baton Rouge? Sure, no problem. Well, the way that it came about was Elias came to us, and this was like, Christmas Eve, and we were in California, and he says, Mom, uh, when I went to bed last night, God told me that this is where I need to be. I'm, I, I want to commit to LSU. And then I kind of closed my eyes, and I kind of prayed silently, and I was like, God told me that too. I was like, but I didn't want to say anything because, you know, I wanted him to make his own decision. And he said, this is just what I want to do. And um, I told him because, of course, any kid who's from California or just some a long way away from home is going to be afraid to leave their family. And I told him, you know what, son, don't limit yourself by proximity. Where you go, your family will be. And we have family here, like I said. So, you know, we had visited several times and we even stayed here for an entire month to make sure this is a place where we would want to be, not just for a visit. And I had been connecting in real estate and knew that I could work here and my my husband too you know it just it all fell into place but we we previewed the school for my little one and we just kind of made moves to make this happen slowly but surely over time and and we love it here we absolutely love it that, so how long have you all been here in in the baton rouge area we've been here since last summer we came here in july and stayed with family and then we moved into our home in august so, so we were here before elias was here even oh wow so you're coming yes. up. You're coming up on a year in Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, before absolutely. before everything closed down, where were, where was your favorite place to eat? Oh gosh, we have. This is going to sound funny because I have a list in my phone of places that <laughs> I love. <laughs> I love to eat here. Oh my gosh, we we love to eat at, at Mike Anderson's. I mean. Well, even the Popeyes here is better than it is in California. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it's so something good. that I make a list of and and we just we enjoy, like every day we always eat out cuz I cannot cook. So, <laughs> it's it's just that's common in California but it's not common here. People here know how to cook, so I have to step my game up, but it's it's just, you know, something that, you know, we 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 love eating here. We love coming together as a family and you know, it's it's just something where, you know, he, we watched the spring game last year, and it was just kind of disheartening because we're so excited. That's when he decided that he wanted to graduate early and that he was going to go to IMG so that he could finish early and be here. And one, okay, well, he got hurt. So then he was thinking, okay, I won't be able to play in the spring game. And then there was no spring game. So mm -hmm. that whole transformation of how serious this is and, like, Oh my gosh, just like every day the news just got worse and worse and worse. So 
it, it's been a, it's been a real challenge, you know, for him one not being able to be as active as he likes to be because since he was like 10 years old, he works out every day without fail, without being pushed, without being told to, to not being able to be with his teammates or, or friends or because they're a real support for each other. So it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's tough. Did uh, And Shauna Ricks is our guest, mother of Eli Ricks, LSU five-star cornerback signing. He was going through his first spring. So we learned that he had the shoulder injury. Uh, I don't know mm-hmm. what you could tell us about it. So that was a – that was a high school injury that, that they, they just cleaned up uh, in spring? Yes. And, okay, so he got hurt in his junior season, and uh, he's a pretty relentless kid, so he didn't tell us, and he didn't tell his coaches <laughs> how bad it was. And this is what makes it so terrible. He told his coaches, he's like, oh, yeah, they took me to the doctor, and my mom said I'm all cleared, I'm all good to go. And then he told us that, oh, yeah, my high school trainer, they told me I'm good, I'm cleared, I'm all good to go. Telling both sides that he doesn't <laughs> dare want to not have to miss a game or a practice or anything. But bottom line is he, he was reporting to them after treatment and after he went to the doctor that uh, he was a lot better than he truly was. So he had to have a, a labrum, uh, a surgery for a labrum tear to have that repaired. And um, it, it set him back. He lost whole lot of weight a whole lot of muscle mm. um and just a whole lot of strength but you know now he's cleared and he was on his way back and everything else is all shut down so wait. he's like what <laughs> so wait wait go back for a second so he tells mm-hmm. the coaches that uh-huh. you took him to the doctor he tells you yep. that he saw the team doctor obviously he didn't yep. go to the doctor so nope. what all right so you find out this fib your mm-hmm. reaction as a mom mm-hmm. is here we go again Wait, here because we go. He does it before? Oh, he had pneumonia, and he didn't tell anybody because he played and had, like, two interceptions in a game. And, I mean, because he, he, his love for football is not normal. <laughs> uh, so he played through pneumonia. He denied that he had a fever. He just didn't want people to know so he could – he will do anything so that he can be out there on that field. Mm. So he's he, gonna get, he loved it like that. He's going to get along just great here in this, yeah. in this culture. Like, I'm sure you know by now, but like, yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. going to work out really well here. Um, so wait, yeah. so you said he's been working out like every day since he was 10. So f- what, is, mm-hmm. what is Eli doing at home? Because I mean, all these, I, I presume he's just, he's at home like everybody else is. Like, what, what is he doing? Yeah, he's, he's home and he talks. He has his trainers uh, in California, uh, Charlie Collins and Pavel James that he has conversations with. And they give him ideas of how he could work out at home. And, you know, we, we have a lot of area, you know, where he still does. He's physical and he's still working out and exercising. But it's not to the intensity that he's accustomed to. He's used to working hard mm-hmm. um, every day. And, and he, he loves that he thrives. It's, it's like a loss for him because he already wasn't able to do much because he was injured. And he's been waiting for this day. Like he sacrificed pretty much because he is a 2020 graduate, like, like all of these kids out here that are really sad that they're going to, he's, he's missing his high school graduation that he was mm. planning to go back to IMG and he won't be participating in that. So it's kind of like a, a, a double loss, you know, he finally got to the, the graduation point, but um, it's not going to happen. Mm. So, you know, man, uh, y'all have an amazing story. Uh, a couple more minutes. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I have a couple more. Uh, Shauna Ricks is our guest, mother of Eli Ricks, LSU freshman cornerback. Um, you, you mentioned you have family in, in the Baton Rouge area. If you don't mind, what's, mm-hmm. what is that tie in there? Okay, so my husband, uh, his mother and father were originally from Louisiana. Okay. And they moved to California just before my husband was born. So his mother and father are still in California, but they wish they could come back here. (laughs) So all of their siblings and cousins and extended family, they're still here. So when we came back here, like I said, we love the culture. Like I'm like football die hard here. Like everybody loves it. Like we love it, you know, Um, and California is not like that. There's so, so many other things to focus on. But but here, um, football is family. Yeah. You know, it's 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 serious. So, so what was it like for you? So Eli was was obviously at IMG this past season. You all were already yes. here. Did you all travel mm-hmm. to his games, or 
have you have you seen a game in Baton Rouge? Did did you get to see a game in Tiger Stadium this year? Oh, this is the best. This is the best part. Okay, All right. and th- this is where the blessings come in. So we would fly to IMG, or we would fly to Maryland, wherever he was playing. And by the grace of God, we found flights for like twenty three dollars. $33. So the whole family would go <laughs> up and watch Elias play on Friday night at IMG. And we would be back here for the first flight in the morning on Saturday morning to go to the LSU game. So yes, we did. <laughs> so you got to watch all the games last year. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. It's incredible. Oh yeah. So give me oh, a, yeah. give me a memory. Like what, knowing your, your son is going to be part of this program. And then you get mm-hmm. to watch this amazing national championship season Give me oh, yeah. what, what stands out from the season for, for you. Oh, uh, you know, just the excitement and the intensity. I mean, we, we were in the crowd with like, uh, I remember when Eric Gilbert, he was on his official visit and we were just so excited, you know, just, I mean, just the feeling that the energy, that the crowd, that the support and then the Florida game when everybody had their hands snapping and chomping. <laughs> And, and I, I just enjoyed just watching people doubt, you know, you know, just like, ah, uh, they're number two this week. Ah, uh, you know, they're 15 and 0 or whatever, 12 and 0. Let's see what happens then and just have them disprove everyone because Coach O, he did not waver from what he said. You know, just he's, we're, we coming, we coming. And they came. Indeed. You know, it was, it, it had happened. So it was, it was an, awesome. It was an amazing season. Um, God, and hopefully, Hopefully, Eli gets to participate in something uh, similar coming up this year. Two more things. Number one, how would you feel? This is kind of the – nobody has answers, right, as far as what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But as a mom, how would you feel about your son participating this fall uh, amid what's happening? I'm sure you and your husband have talked about it, but just a, a general a general thought on, on everything that's happening there. You know, I have, I have total faith. Um, and, and just, just as a mom, because, you know, for me, I had to let my son go when he went to IMG, I had to let my son go when he moved into the dorm. And I just feel like I put my trust into these coaches, into this program. And I believe that he's going to be okay. Whatever is coming, you know, whatever is coming, they're not going to do anything to, to hurt him or put him in a position for him to be compromised. I saw that with his injury. They took care of him. They didn't let him get out there and get hit before it was time, before he was ready. And, I mean, if, if, if that happens, I mean, I feel like this is everything is kind of being put on hold for just a little bit for a reason. But I, I, I see, you know, it's like I'm hoping we're at our peak with this thing yeah. and that we'll be ready. Our culture will forever be changed. Um, just how people are, you know, like I'm a hugger. So when I like even <laughs> think about hugging someone, they're going to just like, get away from me. But, you know. It, it, it'll it'll be interesting, but, you know, I just, um, I'm hoping and just, just even in my work, you know, when I go out and I'm, I'm, I'm showing homes and, or I'm, when I'm with my team, it's just, it's just going to be different. Um, just how people interface, but if it's time, we will be ready to go. Well, the, <laughs> the, the fact that you're a hugger means you're going to fit in very well here because people here gener- oh, yeah. generally are, are huggers, which is yes. awesome. I, I am too. Oh, yeah. So when I see you, yes. I'm, I'm going to hug you regardless of the coronavirus. Let's but, do it. Hey, before, Let's do it. But before you go, I know you're working with EXP Realty, and the guy mm-hmm. we've you know, endorsed here so long is uh, Darren James. You're part of Darren's team. Let our listeners know what – you know, where they can find you, what, I, I mean, obviously you're doing real estate in the Baton Rouge area now for, for, I guess, almost a year now, if you've been here since the summer, how, how's all that gone and how can people find you? You know, it's awesome. You know, they can easily just, you know, we, I have um, a website, Shauna.Rick, agent 225, um, or they can just Google us. Darren, you know, Darren reminds me so much of, because how I found him is similar. He reminded me of my son with how relentless and how he's on the cutting edge with technology and how he just does not stop when it comes to being there for his customers. He's so passionate about yeah. it. And it reminded me of, I'm like, I like to be around people who build people up and who are like Elias is that's, that's, that's the culture of our family. So, you know, it's, it's just something, you know, but we're all over technology. We're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, um, our, our phone, you know, all of it. I, we actually, for those watching us right here, I have your Facebook page pulled up right there. It's, it's you can go search mm-hmm. Shauna Ricks on Facebook mm-hmm. or via mm-hmm. Agent Two Two Five as well. So if you want to uh, connect yes. with Shauna, if you're looking to buy or sell, certainly a uh, part mm-hmm. of we're, we're 
we've been bullish about Darren and his team for a long time, so we'd love to send him send him your way as well. But uh, it is, this is a lot of fun, Sean. Hopefully, we could do it again. I really appreciate a couple of minutes. I wish you and your family uh, just continued success and certainly a lot of uh, a lot of safety and and, uh, and goodwill during this time. I can't thank you enough for a couple of minutes today. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me on. It's our pleasure. We'll visit again soon, okay? And I'll hug you when I see you, I promise. Yes, lots of time. <laughs> All right, I'll, we'll talk to you later. All right, take care.